What is going on guys and welcome to HTML tutorial. Now that we have created our first website, I think it's good time to actually get to know our uh, text editor. In this case, it's going to be brackets text editor. So remember how we did that we actually went here to the file and then we said open folder and then we looked for the folder that we were going to be working in. And let's say I said HTML and then I want to open up the file. Now the brackets actually allows us a little bit better version. It actually allows us to go, go here and we can actually select the folder that we want to work in. You can see that I have multiple folders over here. So if I would go over here and if I would grab the CSS folder and just drag it over here, you can see that brackets is right away opens up my, my files for me. And now when I maximize this, you can see that I'm working in CSS folder. Now, don't worry if you don't understand this any, any of this yet. We're actually, once we're going to be done with this uh, series, you're going to understand all of this. So this is going to be the CSS and this is going to be some images that I have. And let me just minimize this over here. And if I want to go back to our HTML folder, I'm just going to drag the folder back here. And now again, we're working with HTML. So we don't need to go to file, open folder and switch back and forth. We can just do it this way. Now, here's another neat thing that I want to show you. Remember how in the previous video, when we were creating our website at the end of the video, what I did is I minimized this window and then we went back all the way to the folder. And then I said, if we right click it or I'm sorry, left click it over here, we're actually opening up our uh, web page the way it is, right? There's actually a neat way in the brackets how we can do it that we don't need to do it this way. Actually, we can maximize this and we can work on our uh, file and it's going to be showing live with a brackets live preview thing. And let me show you what it is. So over here in the file, you have live preview, but you also have this little button over here. And you can see that it's going to have a little tooltip live preview. So once we press this, you can see that this is actually my page. It's actually opening up my page. And not only it's opening up my page, once I'm going to be working on it, it's actually going to show us in a, in a live what I'm doing. So the, usually what I'm going to do over here, I'm just going to minimize this over here. And in a, in the Mac, I'm just going to make it this on one side. And you can see that my live preview is going to be on the other side. And I'm just going to drag it over here. So now everything that we're doing, let's say I'm going to say title. And I'm going to say this is the best title over here. And now if I go over here and if I'm just going to zoom it in, you can see that it has been doing it and it actually was doing it live. So we can check it out what we're doing. Let's say I'm just going to cut add a couple of elements that we haven't covered it yet, but uh, we're going to cover it very soon. So let's say this is going to be heading. This is heading and you can see right away how's it doing for us. So we don't need to in some videos. What I'm going to do is I'm going to still do it the other way just so we get get used to it so we can save it and then go back to the folder and open it up. But also I'm going to be doing like this, like in the brackets where we actually can be working live and we can see whatever we're doing uh, with our file. It's going to be happening live. Now, another thing that I want to show you with the brackets that if you don't like, let's say this view that you have this white view, let's say that you're give, that you want it dark or something. There's actually a thing with brackets that it's called themes and it's with a view over here that if we press themes, we can actually choose what we would want. Now, in this case, we just have brackets darker brackets light and you can see that this, this one says brackets default, right? So just press here brackets dark and you can see that right away how it got darker. Now there is right now we just have two themes that are by default once we download it. However, there's actually called a thing called brackets extensions. We're going to be covering that in later videos, but it's like basically like a plugins like add ons to the brackets and in those brackets uh, plugins or add-ons or extensions we can actually download mo as many themes as i would want so let's say if you don't like these two options that you have over here then you can choose whatever you would want and but the the way you would do it it still would be the same you actually go over here to the view and it's just going to give you instead of two themes you're going to be open up many themes and I encourage you to go over here and actually to if you're going around these and just just check it out what you would have right and one thing that I would want to show you is that with this view that we are working in right now you see this left sidebar over here where the folder where we're working and 
let's say with this little toggle menu what we have if we don't want it to right if if it's for some reason it's it sometimes messes up our view you can see over here the hide sidebar or we can use the you can see these are the shortcuts and in some cases i'm just going to be using the, the the shortcuts that we have so let's say that you can see the hide sidebar right so if i press it over here you can see that my sidebar is gone right and i'm just going to uh, press a shortcut over here and i'm going to get it back and in the mac it's the shortcut is command shift and h now if you really totally just want to make your view more open you can go over here and you can see that no distractions so we'll just click it over here and you can see that both of the sidebars were gone now my live preview is still here because that one i set through the mac it's basically where i'm splitting the screens how it want but you can see that with my brackets everything is really open there's nothing that would uh, actually is is dealing with my view so again if i just click it again back on no distractions you can see that both of them are back I think this is going to be it for this video because I think that we covered the most basics. I mean, you can still have here over here, you have a file. So you can explore uh, all the things that are here in file and in edit. But for now, we're just going to leave it at that. Uh, I think we're, we're pretty accustomed with what we have achieved in this video, that we already know the basics, how we'll be working in brackets. So this is going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.